Hey everyone, welcome back to Tea with the Supremes. Julie here with Cassandra and Ebony. Hey. Greetings, Supremes. What's going on? Welcome back, everyone. Today is actually National Coming Out Day. So that is going to be our topic of discussion. So I'm curious, like, why do we need a National Coming Out Day? Because of the oppression that the LGBTQA plus community has faced for a numerous amount of years. I understand that. I'm just confused, but continue. It's not, uh, so it's not necessarily that you have to get, like, come out that particular day. It is a special day, but it's, like, a recognition day to be proud of who you are if you identify with that community because of the homophobia and ignorance that exists. And there's actually a quote from this website that I think is perfect. It says, there's no question that homophobia and ignorance builds on silence, so it is time to end that silence. So it's just a day for people that identify in that community to be openly out and comfortable and celebrate who they are. Like, I get that. And um, as my Supremes know, but my virtual Supremes, this has been a process of growth for me, if I'm full disclosure, being transparent. So I am always, let's not even say that. I, as we have this conversation, I am just overwhelmed with why. And that is not to disrespect anybody who is in or considers themselves a part of this community in whatever fashion you consider yourself. However, there are a lot of communities that are oppressed and have been oppressed they don't have national days to do a b c and d so what is it about this community that says there should be a national day like a national day to come out like so I don't for me that. the way i the way i internally reacted when you said that was very much like I get the same feeling when I get hit with the white privilege stuff. Like, it's not fair. If they get it, then why don't we get it? And it's like, you can advocate for your own community. Nobody's saying that you don't, the other groups don't have to. They just have to advocate for whatever they want. And this community advocated for it and got a day. So in my, my good for them. <laughs> I don't think it's a I mean, either or thing. I think it's just a... They advocated not, for it, and that's why they got it. I don't see it as, I'm not saying it as an either or thing, and that's um, an interesting response as to how you felt. Um, however, no, not however. Let me pause right there. Like, how is that the way you felt when I said that? Like, it, that no, it wasn't feels the way so I felt. condescending. It's the, way, it's the way that I heard it in my brain. Like, you said what makes them deserving of a day as opposed to other no, people. Nothing does. That's not, they that's they not advocated for their own community, so they got a day, and they should own their day. And other oppressed groups should also be deserving of a day. See, let's, let's go back, because that's not what I said. What I said was, what about this particular something not that they can't have a day or they shouldn't have a day. I'm just asking what's the significance of having this day? And to that point, Cass said, because they've been oppressed and uh, the L and I, let me stop saying that. I apologize. The LGBTQ plus, I don't want to miss anything on that, has, because they have been oppressed, or, and, and I'm not discounting that. No one should be brutalized for whatever choice they make. I believe you have the freedom to choose whether I agree or disagree with the choice. You have the freedom to choose your choice and make your choice. However, what about that needs a national coming out day? 
So two things. One, choice is very, um, the word choice um, is very controversial because mm -hmm. many people don't interpret it as a choice. The significance of coming out, though, is this is something that most people have had to hide their entire lives because they're oppressed within their families for who they are. So it's like a birth for them because it's the first time that they're able to openly say, this is who I am. Even, and it's even a lot of them, it's still fearful for them to do that, but it's the first time they've been able to vocalize, this is who I am, which doesn't, I mean, a lot of oppression is based on outward things that are obvious. And this is something that most people don't recognize unless, you know, some people are excessively flamboyant and then people assume things. Um, but a lot of people just kind of go under the radar and keep who they are undercover and no one ever knows unless they vocalize it. So it's a big deal when they are able to say, this is who I am. So I come from the generation, I feel, a big part of my generation, my millennial generation, we're very accepting of everyone and everything and background, sexual orientation, you know, and we've kind of been almost like, I don't want to say pioneers because advocacy has been going on since, let's look at Milk, Henry Milk, right? He got brutally beaten and he was an advocate for the gay community in San Francisco when I think it was the 80s, the 70s or 80s. Um, so I think that was a pivotal point in this community. This day was actually founded in 1988. 1988. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, and maybe it's just me, but I've never felt like anybody ever needed to come out with me, come out to me because I've just been accepting of everybody and everything regardless, because only person who could judge me is God, you know, or whatever spiritual being is out there, you know? So for me, I think the importance of the coming out day is that, we, and we've had this discussion before about family, family can be chosen, you know? And we choose the people that we are comfortable with to be our true selves around. And that goes for any oppressed population. You know, um, we've had this discussion before, especially with like the George Floyd trials and all the shift in systematic racism that we've seen over the past, what, two years, you know, now people are just starting to advocate for this. but. I digress. That's a different conversation. But the importance of this day is that these individuals have chosen to be their true self and not hide it from the people who mean the most to them. Funny story. I tried to come out to my parents when I was, I think I was 15. I tried to tell them that I was bi and they said no. No, you're not. Like, all right, I guess I'm not. Now I'm 27. That's however many years I can't do mental math at all. Um, still have the same feelings. You know, I'm happily with my fiance, who is a male, you know, but I have a great appreciation for the female body. Totally give off by wife energy, whatever <laughs> that means. Um, but I just think it's important because these individuals can be who they are, unapologetically who they are. Yeah, I will say my background and my perspective has definitely changed slightly older than Miss Cassandra. And I was raised very conservative, very religiously, and I was very much on the page of this is devil's stuff and it's disgusting and this is whatever. As I have grown, I do not agree with any of that. I'm very 
my viewpoints have become very existential and I think everything is so social constructs and that are made up to enforce rules on people and keep them oppressed. And that's where my brain goes. Um, and I feel like if it's not hurting anybody, why is it any of your business? And also, why do you care? I just, in my heart, I don't understand. I say that a lot about things, but I'm like, why does it matter? If it has nothing to do with you, why does it matter? Let people live their best lives. Exactly. It's not affecting yours. I agree with those things. I think, well, I agree with some of those things. However, I think you should, however you believe, whether God, spiritual, whatever your belief, non-belief that's between you and god what you do what you believe and what you don't believe so my personal beliefs have nothing to do with you i get that you're right you live your best life do all those things uh as long as you're not bringing detriment to someone else it's not going to change my belief or my value system or anyone else's i assume but that's not my question my question is why does any of that garner a national day? I feel like we've already addressed it because this is a huge thing. There's no other, and I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to think. But like, is there another scenario where a person has to keep oppressed in themselves who they are forever? for fear of like being disowned by their family for like things that are internal that are not outwardly obvious. What? Like share with me. Continue. I'm, I'm listening. Ebony's okay. making faces. I am. Like there's obvious. I'm trying to think like it seriously is what else, what else would be something that people would hide their entire lives that would disown them from their families if they spoke on it. Religion. People hid their entire life about passing and being African American and passing for white, but not to their families. Not to their family. Their families fa know whether or not they're white two, or not. Two, two families. Two, two families. People they've married into families and did yeah, not know that not these people were parents. African American. Your parents know what you're composed of. You know what I mean? Um, they know how you got I, there. I, 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 I I understand that part. I'm just like I'm just saying like that's not the only scenario. But, but I want what's the scenario point. that your parents wouldn't know about that you would have to hide forever? Because because here's the other thing. Well, we're not, not going to discuss any of that on air because I I want to continue hiding if those they things. They never I really want come them out. To know. <laughs> right? If they never come out, they have to live right. their whole life not fulfilling themselves. Their entire life because they're like you know my family will disown me or whatever so their whole life they have to live if they don't come out to that family member there are people that live, look i'm not suggesting yeah but you have to live in the i'm closet, not suggesting which is not coming out that's what i'm saying right that's why I'm it's not, a big deal i don't get why okay. you don't see why it's a big deal <laughs> i don't get why you don't see the flip side of it but go ahead <laughs> Because I couldn't, like, I, so I always try to rationalize it with how would I feel, right? If I couldn't, so say I was gay, my parents, I was raised in a traditional family. So the expectation is you get married, you have kids. If you're gay, then what? So then the whole, my whole life, I have to get your, why are you still single? Why are you not having kids? What's wrong with you? Meanwhile, I'm like secretly like dying inside because I can't live my life the way I want to. Like I couldn't imagine that life. And there's a ton of people that that is their entire life. I, I understand. I, I, I know people like that. I'm not saying that you shouldn't come out. That's not what I'm saying. That's whatever life you, you choose to live or whatever uh, way you express yourself. It's the way you express yourself. That does not change to go to my point and my question, why does it need a national coming out day? Because you choose to come out or you don't choose to come out. I mean, I don't, 
whether the day is there or not, you're still going to come out or you're not going to come out, Yeah, but it's a right? celebration. So, you don't have to come out on that day. It's just a celebration of you recognizing that you're out and proud. It's not like everybody come out on whatever, it's October 11th. That's not what it's meant for. It's like, this is just a special day to recognize that I'm out and I'm proud. I get like, if, I feel like if you want to ce- celebrate whatever you want to celebrate, and it should be a day, honestly, because it's like your birthday, right? You celebrate your birthday every year. And what's the significance of that? The day you were born, what do you do? You know what I mean? So why can't they you're have a celebration? You're equating it to your, to the day of birth? Like, yeah, that's because what you're for them, it's it like the birth of who they are. I was going to say for the transgender community, yeah, especially the transgender community, the day they s- have their dead name is their like rebirth day you know that's when that's when their real life started when they could be authentically who they are 100 percent. i don't remember if we talked about that with your friend jules or not but yeah, yeah I, I think it's it's a big deal it's, yeah it's it's a very it's a big deal because how do I say this? How do I say this without being disrespectful? It's like how we celebrate Christmas or Easter, you know? We celebrate <laughs> the birth of Jesus, right? Japanese face is not okay. No, ma'am. No, no wait, 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 so, wait, wait, but, wait, but, wait. Oh, shit. Sure. I just wait, had uh, a uh-uh, uh-uh. We're going back. So you want to equate... The National Covenant Out Day okay, to the birth of Jesus, like Jesus, J E S U S D Jesus. Yeah, I'm not. To some people, like, I can't take that. To one. some I people, that's that what one. it's like. That's how it feels. That feels like their Christmas. So I feel like it's a birthday type thing. But here's the flip. The flip side. Something that, like Cass said before. So you can come out right and people can reject that so whether or not you're out and you're proud people can be like nope i'm not accepting that like that's not my reality so for you you can still celebrate and be like you know what i'm out other people don't view me that way but that's Mm -hmm. this is for me this is my day to celebrate me being who i am and acknowledging who i am whether or not other people accept who i am okay i get it i'm i'm I'm, I'm like, still stuck on this whole Jesus and cat. Like, I can't okay, take that one. I'm not going like, to go there. I'm not going to yeah, go I can't there, take but... that. I, I just, I, I take that, like, I don't, I don't advocate anyone in my beliefs, but I take that as a personal offense to equate one to the other. I'm just going to tell you straight out. Like, I can't see that. And I can't see anyone else equating anything. There's nothing in this world for me that equates to that so i take that as a personal affront but to not but however to julie's point if the individual is going to come out anyway to your point what you just said and whether you said the family accepts it or not any anyone in your life accepts it or not as we've studied in this process and uh, I've been privileged to sit down, um, thanks to you, Jules, and and converse with someone who was transgender, which wouldn't have happened in my regular nine to five life. Um, if the individual is going to do it anyway, whatever pronoun at this point, he, she, them, whatever they are. So if the individual is going to do it anyway, uh, regardless of the family's, friends, life's, response again to everything that everyone said i still don't understand the point of why there must be a national day here's the thing it is not a federal holiday there's like a national donut day like honestly who cares you know what i mean there's so many days that are like they're there if you if somebody advocated for them Wait, to create them. Uh-uh. You You're not going to like try to decrease it. it. No. It's the uh-uh. same. You can't try to decrease it as 
you can't try to decrease the importance of it. Like, oh, it's national. It is national days for everything. The National Pizza Day, which yeah, I actually Yeah, so why appreciate. does it matter? I don't um, understand. Everything has a day. Why does there need to be a National Donut Day? Why does there have to be a National Hot Dog Day? Why does there have to be a National whatever? Because somebody wanted see, it. It meant something to somebody. So go do you. If it means something to you, then you should have a day for it because it's important to you. But if it doesn't mean something to you, don't celebrate it. Like, I really don't see why, like, they wanted a day. Cool. Do you. I'm all for it. You want a day to just flex on yourself and love on who you are to have at it. I've never celebrated it. I wouldn't have a reason to celebrate it. But, I mean, more power to you if it's if it's in your wheelhouse. Have at it. See, I think that defeats the purpose. I got a heavy eye roll yes. on the <laughs> A heavy um, eye roll. This... this this conversation, as it began, it began um, solidifying the importance of this day and this gesture by anyone that is in that community. So we can't change the narrative of the conversation and say, We're not changing oh, well, anything. It's I not- said it's the same as a birthday. Cass's birthday, I love you, Cass, but Cass. The weight of her birthday carries a lot more to her than it does to me. And now people, I don't know if it's your birthday. I mean, more power to you. Celebrate your day, but it has nothing to do with me. But if you want to celebrate it and it is meant for you, have at it. That's my thing. Like, this is their day to celebrate an important moment for them. Have at it. Does it mean anything to me? No, I'm not in that community. I don't know if there's ally responsibilities on that day. I'm not that far into the ally ship. But... I mean, it's important. Everybody has different things that are important to them. This is an important day. So I feel like if it's important to you, live it up. If it's not important to you, you know, keep it moving. But that's how that's how birthdays are. I mean, let's talk about how we had a birthday month. Not everyone does that. So what makes you think that your birthday is worthy of a whole month of celebration? Because See, that's different. To you. <laughs> no, that's different. There is not a day that says this is National Ebony Day. And uh, you have a birthday that you celebrate every year. That is that is a individual choice. That's not something Nobody's that's Nobody's telling created the whole community say, they have to celebrate. It's an option. That's not what I'm saying. It's not even about the celebration. That's not... That's not relevant to me. It's not about coming out. That's not relevant. This is not anti come out. You shouldn't come out. You shouldn't. uh, Whatever you deem is your truth. That's your truth. What my question and what my point still is, is the why. Why? So I would like to counter to you. Why not? Oh, I have a list of reasons. Please share. I have a... um, it's not, it's not the counter of why not. It is. It is. I, if you expect an no. answer, I expect an answer. I, I agree because I, I haven't, I haven't gotten one yet from either of you. However, that's um, I will say that Cass, from the look on Cass's face, we believe that you have gotten an answer, but you have not received the answer. Oh, th- this could be true. And a part of communication as we have these discussions is that um, you must communicate in a way that the recipient understands. So I'm telling you as the recipient, I do not understand the point of saying a national day. And I get it because you, you, for me, you justified or pacified it to say, well, there's a National Donut Day, there's National Pizza Day. We're not having a conversation about National Pizza Day or National Donut Day. I'm saying, and for the people in this community, I'm sure they're not trivializing it, making it equated to a National, you know, Pizza Day. And I, please, I, I don't care what your position is. I would hope you're not equating it to the birth of Jesus like just that's just a whole nother something my question okay still, in my defense I meant it as in like celebrating a holiday type of thing not specifically 
like yeah. Christmas. I didn't mean it that way. I meant it like they celebrate it as if they celebrate a holiday. That's how I meant it. I, I get that. I just wanted to clarify because those are two completely different. They, they don't equate in my understanding and I'm that could just be my understanding, but in my understanding. So to my point and to the original point and the point that for me hasn't changed, I don't understand the why behind saying, let's make this a national day. I understand the fact that you need to do it. I understand the fact that every individual needs to live their truth to complete their, make them whole and live their entirety. I understand all of those things. What I do not understand to each of your points, I heard that because this has been an oppressed community, I've heard because they did not have the ability to live in, 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 in truth um, openly without having to defend themselves and defend their thought process and, and why they choose whatever they choose. I get all of that. It still doesn't explain to me why there should be. I'm not saying it's a federal holiday. Okay, this I'm is just, the this is the clarification per the what how it was founded. First celebrated in the United States in 1988, the initial idea was grounded in the feminist and gay liberation spirit of the personal being political and the emphasis on the most basic form of activism being coming out to family, friends, and colleagues and living life as an openly lesbian or gay person. The foundational belief is that homophobia thrives in an atmosphere of silence and ignorance and that once people know that they have loved ones who are lesbian or gay, they are far less likely to maintain homophobic or oppressive views. So that so does is racism. So is what? Why does this, this, so does racism. Why does this get a day? I don't understand. I, I'm the, like, I'm not, you know, normally I take the outlier position and, you know, I, 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 I think conflict, uh, com conversation and conflict and conversation can produce growth, but I am genuinely there is an Unclear. international day for the elimination of racial discrimination. That has a day. It's not an either or. I, I'm not saying it's an either or. That's that's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not. I don't want to make it. But every time about... your your counter keeps being, but why does it get a day versus racism? Ra it shouldn't. No, it racism shouldn't. is not the only. That was just the example that came because everything you described right. at that Pose moment you, was describing what racism. What are you thinking of? And have we researched if that has a day? Because it may have a day, and we just aren't aware of it. There are a lot of days. Is is it? I'm I'm trying to find the words to say this. It's not about racism as you were describing those just were the things that popped in my mind because they're the same things i just i i am i am at a loss let me say that i am at a loss as a female as a, a parent as as a woman of color there are so many things in my life that I see around me. And it could be my experiences outside of race. There are so many things around me that I see that I could see an issue that says, this is something we should call national attention to, right? It's not a national, it's not a federal holiday, as you said, but it's something to garner and call national attention to. And there are so many issues in my community and what is my systems that are around me that we can call national attention to. I just don't see, and maybe you are receiving it as a either or, I do not see where this is one 
above all the other things that are I don't happening. think it is. I don't one, I don't think it is. Two, you keep saying call national attention to. Do you I mean, have you heard of this before today? Honestly, it's not like it's going to be on the news and and stuff like that. It's their day. It's the same as like every other. Listen, no, no, it's not. Because if it was, we wouldn't, we we wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah, because I research mental health topics. That's why. Exactly. And in that research. I researched it. It wasn't something I knew about. Cass, did you know about it? No. Like I've never seen it on the news. So I mean, I know about like, Pride Month. But it's that's not about like because they have a day, it. their platform is higher than other people's. Because it's not. It should be high. There are also racism should be high. The plight of the black community obviously has been seriously under under recognized. Women's rights is still a consistent issue. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't leverage. I think. From what I'm hearing, and I could be perceiving differently, but from what I'm hearing is your brain is immediately going to, well, how does this rate over this one, though? But it's not. It's it, it's an independent entity. It shouldn't be treated because it's not, it's not like, it's not like, I don't even know what to compare it to. It's not like because there's this day. The whole world is like, we need to work on this because that's not the reality. Okay, that's that's condescending. That's not anywhere where I meant. And I don't like I don't first of all, to the our 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 um virtual supremes, we this is all love and we this is just how we communicate when we're trying to work out the misunderstanding so that first of all it is all love the utmost respect for for our family of supremes um we're just not not getting the the crux of the miscommunication yet listen listen supremes this is life this this is you you get a a a insight into our life and how we process and how adults can have conversations and differ. As we converse, we don't always agree. Most times we do not agree. This is just one of the times you happen to hear that disagreement. And it's not it's not an argument. It's it's a place of understanding that I am trying to get to. If you could see my face and understand the thoughts that are rolling in my head and I don't want it to sound like an either or for me I struggle and things are expressed through your life experiences and how you have lived and how you continue to live and grow and we all evolve and for me I struggle to understand with all the things that are going on. I don't discredit the struggles. I, I it's not my experience. I've I've had the I've been humbled and had the honor to sit and hear people who've lived this experience and live this trauma and live this hurt. And I don't want to diminish it. I I I am broken for them because no one should be harmed and you know for how you choose to live your life and choose is a word that we'll disagree on but that's where I have evolved to choose and I can I can be at choose for the moment so with all the things that's happening how is this up there like how is this and I I guess it's coming out as either or but how is this there Women still don't make the same amount as men. Like we're talking generational traumas. I, I We had a conversation about something we're doing in class. And I literally had to say less than two generations removed from this. I would be the third generation removed that that family member of mine was a slave. Like there are so many things that... I see, I have experienced, I 
see in communities around me. Like, how did this get up there on the list? And I, I you know, I, I don't want to, because it sounds trivialized when I trivialize the experience and I don't want to trivialize it. So I'm just, that's where I'm at. So I have a question because, so when we were talking about the generational trauma, Ebony, you inspired me to go out and to do more and to do my research, to be a better human, to educate myself, not so I can understand, so I can stand next to you when we're fighting that fight. So my question to you is, is this triggering some form of implicit bias where you may need to do a little bit more research to better understand why there needs to be a coming out day? I'm sure on one hand, the answer is yes. I'm never going to tell you that I do not need to continue to work from the very rigid stance that I had when we were introduced to, to each other to where I am now. Um, I don't disrespect anyone's right to live whatever way you choose to live. If you want to jump off and fly with unicorns, hey, do you think that's mm-hmm. you? Mm-hmm. Um, this For me, this is not about that. For me, this is two separate issues. For me, this is, we are having this conversation because this is something of importance that in the midst of researching mental health, whatever we were researching, like this came up. And my question, my point is, this is important, but how the hell did this make it to the place on the lit, like I mean, you're shaking. We talked no. about Minority Mental Health Month. There's Women's Mental Health Days. There's Men's Mental Health Days. There are days we just haven't discussed them. But from a logistical standpoint, honestly, realistically, this became it was um, advocated for in the '80s, and realistically, I'm sure it was white men that advocated for it which does make a difference on why it got a day when it did get a day. That's, that's a legitimate thing. That's the conversation. This, this conversation, this conversation becomes, it digresses because Cass's point was, is this something you need to research as, as, as a bias that you're having? See, that's not the point to me. I'm not saying that that's not a true issue. Jules's point is the point to me. You're saying this came in in the 80s and had we not had we not had the, the the incidences that we had on film, we wouldn't have the conversations that we've been having in communities that I'm a part of about the struggles that I feel sending my African American son outside. That when something happens, I reach out. That the women that I know who are bosses in their own right could not do um, or could not be or still are not equated in the same instances. I'm using race and women because that's what I am. So those are the things that are prevalent to me that I still have to curtail the things that I say and do that my natural hair is an issue when I go into my rural community area school and you're questioning who I am. See, these things that have been issues all 43 years of my life, I'm not, I really, and I I want this to be clear for the Supremes that are listening to me. This is not about, I dislike anyone in the LGTB community, or that this is a bias because of my faith and my religious beliefs. It's not. It is what Jules just said. It is why are we having this conversation and we're not having other conversations? And Julie responded and was like, well, we have this month and we have these dates. That's not the point. I want to make sure that my point makes sense. You know what I'm saying? That's not. I mean, I hear, I hear you and I resonate with you because you're 100% correct, which 
And like I said, from a logistical standpoint, this is how the day got to be the day when it got to be the day. Is that fair? No. However, that doesn't devalue any of it. What, like when you asked why should this be a day? Because it should be a day. The same as there should be a day, an anti-racism day. There should be, every community should have their day and there shouldn't be oppression. There shouldn't be. And this one was leveraged probably because it was came from white people. You're absolutely right. But that doesn't devalue it at all. It should be a day. There also should be other issues that get more leverage. But that doesn't invalidate that it still should be of importance. But I agree with you. And you're right. I'm sure I'm sure that's why it got to be a day, especially in the 80s. Yes, 100%. I mean, if all those videos hadn't come up, it wouldn't have made the... Okay, let's be honest. If it was a Black gay man, would not have made the news. Would not have made the news at all. If it was a Black lesbian, would not have made the news. But the fact that it was a white man is why... It did get leverage to where it is today. One of and I one hundred percent agree with that. Yeah, yeah, one of Martin Luther King's um, closest, like confidant speechwriters, was a black gay man, and you don't see him in history books or anything. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly right because it does compound with race for sure. I, I agree. To my Thank initial point, it's just I I don't think it devalues the day at all. I agree that there are many more issues that have caused, I don't wanna say more damage, but honestly, there's there's really heavy issues that have not been nearly touched that need attention. I would but, say more, I would say more, I don't mean more in equation two plus three, more that way. I'm looking at over the span of time, as we're saying generational, 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 you know, from generation to generation. I don't, and I don't want to get into a battle of equating one more than the other. So I use more very carefully in that respect. I'm thinking as a length of time. Um, I don't think uh, anybody in the LGBTQ plus community just started. I think it's as as old as time and the span of time as we were uh, researching and and, and understanding. I I understand that even in that community, when you look at the crime statistics for transgendered uh, men or women, those of color are three times greater than those not of color. I don't want to always make it seem like race is the issue, but every time I get up, I look and I'm African-American. It ain't changed. Uh, I went to bed last night and I was black. I woke up this morning and I was African-American. I went to bed a female last night and that could change for other people, but I woke up and I was a female this morning. You know what I'm saying? So I was a mom yesterday. I'm a mom today. Those things are prevalent things that, surround my community and my community members. You know, women still make this. We still do this. We're still seeking for equality this way. I'm not, I don't want to say, and I'm not saying that one issue is greater than the other. My question was, and it still hasn't shifted. The question is, with all the things, that we have in front of us. And I get it to Jules' point, you know, you other people have this day and other people have this. I just, I don't think the question of why was necessarily for why do you, as if you deserve one or the other, the question was why as people have been fighting for generations for things, like how did this get a day? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like it really... It just was the issue, you know, so that was my point. However, even disagreeing, I think for my quote is simply be happy and be yourself. You have the right to be 
you and do you. And this conversation wasn't to deter anyone from being themselves, but for me, it was a, a microscope into society and how we place importance. If you want me to be even transparent as we leave this, it is almost as if, again, something else knocks me off the peg and something else is placed within a greater importance. If you want to understand where my thought process was at, and that is not an affront to anyone in that community. So you be happy, be you. And I guess my unfortunate thing, I hate, will agree to disagree. How about that? I still think why is because it should be a day. But also, I mean, to your point, obviously, I don't fall in either community, but for African Americans who happen to also be in the LGBTQIA plus community, isn't it a positive if they have one less thing to be oppressed for? You know what I mean? Like, no, I know. <laughs> oh, like versus the I intersectionality mean, of being oppressed because they're black and also because they're LGBTQ. You know what I mean? Like there should be a lack of oppression, obviously. Like, does but this like, day stop? Does this day stop any of them from being oppressed? Like, does yeah, this but it's, day? That's what I'm saying. What? Like, that's why there's a day. I don't know. There's just a day. I don't know. <laughs> Listen. I mean, I don't want to come off either, like completely, because obviously we don't have, granted, Cass shared that she came out when she was younger, but hasn't, she's living a, a heterosexual lifestyle. Like we don't have someone in the community on our panel necessarily. So like, I don't want to come off as ignorant either. But in my viewpoint, there should be a day. There's a lot of shit that we need to deal with and like more conversations that we need to have on other communities. And like, I am game for those. And today is National Coming Out Day. So if it's something that means something to you and you're in a place where you can be out and proud, good for you. So my mindfulness challenge for you guys this week, because we're going to end on a positive note, ladies. Everybody take a deep breath. We all love each other. Everything's rainbows and unicorns. Maybe not, but you know what I mean. It's all with respect. And that's what I love about these conversations is even though we bicker and we go back and forth, at the end of the day, we all respect one another to just say, okay, and we learn and we grow. And that's what this podcast is about is growth. So mindfulness challenge for this week, be mindful of the way you treat others. You never know what somebody is going through. You never know what, path, what walk of life their path has brought them. So just be mindful of that and be kind and breathe when you're in discomfort. So we will grow from this conversation. And as Kat said, always love. We have much love for each other and we respect our listeners and we appreciate, I appreciate our Supreme's willingness to have the conversation and we appreciate those that have listened to the conversation, even though it was a little chaotic. <laughs> and with that, yes, it wasn't chaotic. I, I mean, I feel like it was a little more yeah. aggressive than we usually um, do, but yeah, but <laughs> But it's I all think love. it's a representation of real life. And I think mm -hmm. give yourself grace in the process. We don't always agree. You won't always agree virtual Supremes with those around you, with lifestyles, whatever you don't agree with. Because I, I think that's <laughs> what this kind of came to be. But that's not what it is. You know, just give yourself grace in the process and give others around you grace in the process, even if you disagree. And they're wrong and I'm right. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second week in a row. You had no. to get that in. <laughs> second week recently that we've had we've disagreed. But that's this is important for listeners to hear. You can love someone and have 
friendships with people and relationships with people that you don't always agree because that is the reality of life and it's okay. So thank you again and come back and check us out next week. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye everybody.